Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be learning how to determine the probability of a single event. So stay tuned. When you are dealing with probability of an event, this is the formula that you will see. Let's examine the formula. Here we have P A. Before we get into anything, you have to understand what A is. A is the event. A is what we want to find the probability of. We will look at it in an example after this. N A is the number of time event A occurs. How many times A happens? And N S is the total number of trials or the total number of our data sample. And then PA is the probability of event A occurring. How likely is it to happen? That is probability. Let's look at it through an example. A bag contains 10 red marbles, 3 blue marbles and 7 green marbles. What is the probability of drawing a green marble out of the bag? First, before we start, we always need to write down our, the information that's given to us. So here we have 10 red marbles, 3 blue marbles and 7 green marbles. Let's get to using the formula. Before we even begin to answer the question, you need to identify what the event is. The, that can be found in the question. So what is the probability of drawing a green marble out of the bag? This is our event. The event here is drawing a green marble out of the bag. This is how we write the probability. P bracket the event in the bracket. So this is the probability of drawing a green marble out of the bag. And then here is NA, the number of times the event occurs. In this case, it is the number of green marbles in the bag. So we already know that there are seven green marbles. So this will be seven. And NS is the total number in our sample, total number of events in our sample. So we have 10 plus 3 plus 7, which makes 20. The probability of drawing a green marble out of the bag is 7 out of 20. This is only true if the marble is drawn at random. Every selection process must be random for this probability to be true. So the chances of getting a green marble out of the bag will be 7 out of 20. The chances of getting a blue marble out of the bag will be 3 out of 20 and red marble will be 10 out of 20. You have a f half 50% chance of drawing a red marble from the back because it is 10 out of 20 which is 0 0.5 when the probability of the an event is 0 that means that there is no chance that it is going to happen there is zero chance that it will occur it will definitely not happen let's look at this example a set of numbers contains whole numbers from 10 to 20 Again, we should be writing down the information that's given to us. Whenever we have a range of information like this, 10 to 20, it is very useful to use set notation. So here, I've labeled our set as X, and this is the data that we have. It's 10 to 20, whole numbers from 10 to 20. So 10, 11 until 20. If a number is chosen at random, what is the probability of choosing the number 8? First, we need to determine the event. The event here is choosing the number 8. So now we go to using the formula. The probability of choosing the number 8 is this should be the number of times the event occurs. Look at our set of data. The number of times 8 occurs here is 0 because it is from 10 to 20. 8 is not here and so we should write 0. And ns is the total data, total number, total number of data that we have. So from 10 to 20, we have 11 numbers here. So it will be 0 out of 11, which is 0. So the probability of choosing the number 8 here is 0. It means that we definitely will not get 8. No matter how many times you try to draw a, choose a number at random from this set of data. When the probability of an event occurring is 1, that means that it will definitely happen. Let's look at the same example again, but the question is different. If a number is chosen at random, 
What is the probability of choosing a positive number? As usual, the first thing we need to do is determine what the event is. Here it is choosing a positive number. So the probability of choosing a positive number is the number of times the event occurs and A. Look at our sample here. 10 to 20, all of them are positive numbers. So we have a total of 11, 11 pieces of data here. So this is 11 and then over the total number of data that we have, which is also 11, which gives us 1. The probability of choosing a positive number is 1. It means that no matter what number you choose, it will definitely be a positive number. So the probability of in an event can be from 0 to 1. It cannot be larger than 1 and it cannot be smaller than 0. There is no such thing as a negative probability. And when we want to convert probability to percentage, all you have to do is times 100. So again, the chance of something happening is from 0% to 100%. So there is no more than 100% or less than 0%. There is no such thing. That's it for today, guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.